Have you ever wondered what it is like to row a pair? Well, we're going to discuss that today and hopefully get Adam Neil at the end of the video too. So here is some pairs footage. you enjoy that little bit of pair rowing with a couple of different people but pair rowing what is it like well it is the most twitchy sweep boat it is I would say the hardest to row with more people more weight in the boat like in the four or an eight so I'm talking about sweep boats here it generally means it's a bit more stable so less people in the boat a bit more twitchy but that makes it all the more rewarding when it goes well. When it's a little bit more difficult to, to do it well, when it does go well, it's going well. Oh yeah, because remember, rowing is a rowing sport. So being on the water, getting in all the boats you can is very important. And since the pair rowing, or the pair itself is the smallest and what I think the most difficult to row. If you can row the pair well, then there are so much, then there is so much crossover that you can apply to the bigger boats that can help you row the four or the eight better too. So the eight, so the pair. So since there are only two of you in a pair, then the two of you have to work together very very closely and sometimes that means a little bit of compromise is needed between the two of you maybe one of you is very strong and one of you is very technical so tying it up together maybe one person takes a little bit more of the pressure in the water or maybe you can change where you sit in the boat itself to sort of adjust for the discrepancies in power so usually in the pair the stroke man tends to be a bit sharper on the catch a bit more powerful and usually in the bow in the back or front of the boat depending on which way you're looking at it in the bow of the boat the bow man is usually a little bit more back-ended it has a little bit more of a strong finish than the stroke man but that isn't always necessarily true that's just what kind of seems to happen in the pair you generally since the weight is coming forward you want someone to pick it up on the stroke seat and then throw it off in the bow seat but there are as the bells go off in the background there are different ways to row the pair but what is it like to row a pair in a race well a pair's race is generally much longer than say an eight or a four just because it goes that bit slower so it makes for a i would say a more difficult race but since the boat is smaller it can make for some drastic speed changes especially since there's only two of you in the boat it means that if you do call for a speed change if you are up in pressure or you're beginning the sprint then there's only two of you to make that change rather than a bigger boat when you need four or eight of you to all make the change together to increase that speed and also in the four to eight you're approaching the max speed of that boat itself while at race pace so increasing the speed a lot is generally unlikely so if you're cl close to max speed in mid race pace and then the sprint is max speed in the eight in the pair you're probably mid race pace is a little bit lower but then the max speed is potentially higher in a race so it can make for some interesting results you can sometimes have pairs that can be a couple of lengths down and then all of a sudden huge bursts of speed in countries i've watched a an italian pair plow through a field sky high rating 
and going through crews like a knife through butter because they've shifted the speed so much from a sort of mid-race pace to their final sprint and they've went through. So you can be a little bit down or a lot down in a smaller boat like a pair in a race rather than in an eight when you are a length down it can make a massive massive difference to the whole race itself when you're up in a pair or up by a length in a pair it doesn't seem that much but when you're up a length in an eight it seems like quite a lot obviously because the boats are different lengths but it makes a huge huge difference having that extra length ahead of the boat behind you but like i said in a pair it may not necessarily matter much if you can have that shift of speed and plow through your opponents. But obviously that is all dependent on your crew, your pair. Some crews like to hold their maximum speed or close to it for a lot of the time, a lot of a race. Whereas other crews have that special gear and almost surprise the opposition with such a shift in speed. But now, We've got Adam Neal here as well to talk a little bit about pair rowing. Adam, your thoughts on a pair? <laughs> My thoughts on a pair? Uh, I think they can be very tricky, mm. um, but then also very rewarding if you, if you, you do get well. Right. Like, the times I've gone well is probably my happiest times in rowing because I find them quite tricky. So. I think when I've had a good result, I'd be like, really happy. Yeah. By the time me and Jeff was did it right yeah. in Boston, I was like, this is the best day ever. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's like more difficult, you would say, to get it right. I think it is, yeah, it is tricky. So mm -hmm. I think when you get it right, it's, yeah, it's really good. Um, I think probably the key is timing. I think if mm -hmm. you can, I think obviously in rowing, timing is key, but I think particularly in a pair, if you are out of time, you really get punished. So I think it's like, yeah, you get a big reward if you can, be really in time on the recovery and the drive. Um, so you're trying to match up your your power curves. If yeah. you can if you can really time your drive together and then try to time the handle on the recovery together, um, you do do better. But what would you well. say? What would you say about the sort of like if one person has a, like an early? Yeah. So I think you potentially want to have the stroke man wants to be on a bit earlier and then the bow. I think you actually I think you want to pick it up together. But then if the bow peaks a bit, a bit higher, yeah. bow peaks a bit later than the stroke yeah. peak. Yeah. Uh, that tends to help just because of the leverage. Um, so a little bit different in the power curve, but the pickup and timing is. Yeah, so then you want to pick it up together, and then stroke wants to be peaking. So yeah, stroke wants to be kind of trying to get on the work a bit earlier, and then the bowman holds it through, um, keeping it straight. Keeping it straight, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can also, I think you can also rig around it a bit as well. Like if you, it's not necessarily you have to be like that way around, but yeah. you can definitely rig around it. Yeah. Like I was looking at some of the pairs at the World Championships, and I think they've definitely done that. Like, you can, rigged around it. I think they've rigged around like some of the, especially maybe not the GB pairs, but the, the international like some of the other nations. They you can see if you look at where the guys have positioned themselves in the boat, they've basically tried to get themselves as close, close to so the bowman mm. as close to the stroke yeah. man as possible, so he hasn't got so much leverage. Uh -huh. um, I think. Mm. But, I'd say rowing is yeah the pair is like the ultimate boat for good rowing. So if you if you can row well single? together, well and the single, yeah. <laughs> that's and the sweep, and sweep. Yeah, yeah, and sweep. I think and if sweep. you you do get rewarded, if you row well yeah. in the pair. Um, but then I mean the eight's good fun as well, isn't it? Mm -hmm. so. All right, thank you yeah. very much, Adam, no and problem. enjoy your weekend. But that will be it for today's episode, Yam Squad. A little bit about pair rowing in the pair. A little bit of footage throughout sort of the last week or so. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, trying experimenting with different videos, different types of footage, and then trying to get people into the videos, not just me, like Adam. <laughs> and as always, Yam Squad, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.